Hello there, everyone, and how are you? I am just chilling on today, but I want to talk to you about anger. You know, anger is an emotion that we all have. It is an emotion that God has given us. But it's interesting that he said in his word, in Ephesians, Ephesians 4, that we can be angry, but not to sin. And don't let the sun go down on your anger or upon your wrath. And I began to ponder how we can do that all the time. Because I know I've become angry and I've said things I shouldn't have said, done things I shouldn't have done, and they had their consequences. But yet God is saying, be angry and sin not. And I thought about how his word says, perfect love casts out all fear. How can perfect love cast out all fear? It's knowing that God loves us so much. So much so that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So he loves, loved us with the life of his son. He loves us so much. So he says perfect love, his love, his perfect love loves us so much that we shouldn't be afraid. Why shouldn't we be afraid? Because he tells us that all things will work out together for our good and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Okay, he tells us things that we can stand on and believe that are true and won't return into him void. He tells us these things so that we can have an assurance that he loves us so much that you can put your trust in these words that I am saying so you would not be afraid. So perfect love casts out our fears. In the same way, he tells us to be angry and sin not. So it's okay to be angry. Don't take matters into your own hand. I am the one that said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. I am the one that said, I will make your enemies your footstool. I am the one that said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And all things will work out together for good. I am the one that will take care of you. I am the one that will never leave or forsake you. I am Alpha and Omega. I am the one that is omniscient, omnipresent, omnipresent, omnipotent. I'm everywhere. I'm all powerful and I see all things. It doesn't matter if you can't convince someone of what someone is doing to you, how they are treating you, what they said about you. God sees it, sees it all. Be angry and sin not. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. He will handle his business. You just handle yours and be angry and sin not. Put your faith and trust in the God who is bigger than your circumstances, bigger than you. Okay? So, allow the love of God to cast out all your fears. Allow the love of God to cause you not to sin when you're angry. Give it over to him and let him handle it. Because believe it or not, the things we think we should do to get back at people, circumstances or conditions, cannot compare to what God has in mind to do for those, to those. Who touched his anointed. Because he said touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Selah. So. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. And let God's peace. That surpasses all understanding. Remain with you. Because. God loves you. Amen.